Welcome to my trap house. Big, big facts. What's up, everybody? Regarding Draymond Green. What's up, man? Yo. Regarding Draymond Green, bro. To be honest, and I don't know about what happened. I don't know why he threw that vicious. F I don't know why he threw that punch with so much ferocity. I don't. But I'm willing to bet it was unjustified. And here is what the coach and Steph Curry has to say about the matter. Happened. Nobody likes it. Um, we don't condone it, but it happened. Uh, Draymond apologized to the team this morning. Jordan was there in the room. We were. I was there in the room. The team, the coaches, the players, and um, we heard that. Um, as far as any suspension, punishment, fine. We're going to handle that internally. He respects my opinion. He respects how I feel, and we've had those conversations. So be honest with him about the disappointment in the situation in and of itself, but also, you know, I think we've earned the ability to say, I trust that you're going to do the work to figure it out. You know, that's that's all you can do right now. Like, you, you rely on the history, you rely on the confidence in, in who I know him to be. And, you know, kind of put all your chips in that. So I, I think... I don't want to overcomplicate it because it's 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 still fresh and new and like to your point I, or the question around you know, how it was practiced today even just how we talked about it and you know try to get on the same page with how we're addressing it but also know we have work to do like all those things um, are pretty fluid and we just try to address it the best way we can but I know between me and Dre between Dre and the rest of the team like all those personal you know relationships and the communication lines like it starts with honesty and openness and um, you know we've been together for so long I think we know how to have those conversations now in order for that punch to be justified in my in my world in my opinion Jordan Poole would, would have had to either violate Draymond Green's family member, immediate family member, wife, mother, uh, daughter, something of that nature, fit to go to an extreme punch like that with such ferocity and such venom and such danger that was a dangerous punch that punch could kill somebody and for and for Draymond Green to do that to his teammate it's kind of if it's not justified it's kind of demented it, it, it's demented and dangerous man it's disgusting to do that to a teammate Nobody, you don't even see punches like that thrown in the in the game, bro. They don't they don't even throw punches like that in games. Nobody, ha I have ever seen nobody throw a punch like that in the game, except for the era that I grew up in, the Charles Barkley era, you know, the nineties, the ninety mid nineties, early eighties, you know, when they was really throwing haymakers, but. In this new era of basketball, they don't throw punches like that in games. That was furious, man. That was that was un boy, boy. That like I said, Draymond Green never hated nobody to that point where I ever saw him throw a punch like that. So what's up with Jordan Poole? What kind of hate does do Draymond Green have against Jordan Poole, bro? We got to find out what the hell Jordan Poole did to Draymond Green. Is this jealousy? Is this some type of resentment from Draymond? Because you can see on a video, and I'm not going to put the video on my channel because I don't want my channel. I don't want YouTube to, uh, to take the video, take my video down. Um, because YouTube will remove 
a video of that nature and I'm not putting it up but y'all seen the video but uh I'm trying I'm trying I'm wondering you know that punch was resentment way back that punch started way lo a long time ago that punch has been building up over ever since Jordan Poole came on the team that punch has been building up between him and Jordan Poole's relationship and it came to a head with that punch he pretty not he knocked Jordan Poole out and, and, and if Jordan Poole got up he was still knocked out he was knocked out on his feet he had wobbly if they was in a boxing ring he would have got up with wobbly knees bro that thing was dangerous and I don't think Michael Jordan hit Stephen Kerr with such ferociousness I don't believe it because they say Jordan punched Steve Kerr also in practice but I don't believe it was like that I mean damn he punched like he's a boxer Draymond Green punched that man like he boxed wow But uh, that's been my input, man. When they suspended, I don't know what they're gonna do. They didn't suspend him. I don't, he should be suspended for that. You know, they might suspend them both because Jordan Poole did push. Well, Draymond Green started it. I mean, what was Jordan Poole supposed to do when that when a man get up in your face like that? What was he supposed to do? Just stand there? He defended himself. Jordan Poole shouldn't get suspended. Draymond Green should get suspended. You know. Maybe. You know. Man. I wouldn't even want nobody like that as my teammate after that. Man. To be honest with you. It can't be no forgiveness after that bro. I, I don't see how. It can be any type of forgive. I mean that's the type of things that get people killed. People will shoot you. For stuff like that man. For shit like that. For punching people in the face like that people will shoot you for far less let alone punching me and knocking me out people will kill you on the street for that bro ain't no coming back from that a lot of times ain't no coming you ain't no forgiveness man. Ain't no coming back you gonna come back and you gonna come back and, and, and resurrect it if you do come back you're gonna be resurrected you dead you know what i'm saying you're dead man walking bro like Bro, Draymond, you mark yourself for death. I mean, people mark themselves for death. For death. Doing shit like, doing reckless shit like that. Assaulting people. You marking yourself for death, man. For an early grave, bro. And that was a teammate. Jesus Christ. It makes me wonder the mental stability of Draymond Green. It makes me wonder what type of mental stability this man this man is on because uh man wow a teammate and you know charles broccoli gonna have something to say about that draymond greens frequently comes on tmt that was awful man that was like a bully ass punch that was a bully punch you know what i mean Sucker, man, that was some sucker shit, man. Like I said, people will kill you, shoot you in your head for shit like that, Draymond Green. You could be a dead man walking, bro, for shit like that. People will kill you for shit like that, bro. That man got family, friends. They want to hurt you, bro. Marking yourself for death, man. For what? Like I said, if the man didn't say nothing about your mom, didn't violate your daughter or your wife, it wasn't called for. That wasn't called for. That's the only uh, reason that I can see him doing that, punching him like that, if he was uh, very furious. The man 
disrespected his mother or his wife or his child yeah I can understand that ferocity ferociousness but other than but I don't think Jordan Poole did that not the way Jordan Poole pushed Draymond Green I don't believe it I don't believe he violated Draymond in that way I believe that this is some resentment Draymond built up a long time ago and it and it was released in that moment man that's it for me. Big, big facts. I'm out. Peace.